Hi guys, this is Mac here now. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel, which is called Mac Vlogs. I'm here again, back with another guest of mine, all the way from London. Her name is Susanna Ford Crush. She is a pop rock music superstar. She sings all across the Europe and she's from London. And she was so excited and so happy to be on Mac Vlogs this evening to express herself and talk to my audience and her audience to tell and Tell them who she is and what type of song she sings. And she's a really amazing human being I came across. And I thought that she should be on the Mac Talks so that she can talk about her journey, how she became a singer at the age of 13 or 14 years of age. That was quite a young age, I would say. And she is really, really, really sweet, really sweet human being. Usually we come to know about the human beings after we get to know and how you connect with them. So... Are you guys waiting? Are you guys excited to meet her? If not, just sit on your seat, enjoy some cup of coffee because it's afternoon in London time, 3 p.m. there, and it's almost 8 p.m. here in Pakistan. So let's her get on MacLogs now and get the lady on the screen. Hello! Hi, Susanna. Susanna, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Uh, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So I have Susanna behind me. I have a Susanna in front of me. So it's going to be a rock and pop style today on Mac Vlogs with your voice because people wants to know who you are. And I just already told them she is a pop star. So she is so excited to be on Mac Vlogs this evening. Same here. It's an honor which you have given me. And I feel that so excited to have you on Mac Vlogs this evening. So before you proceed, let's hear from Susanna Ford Crush who you are and how you started be becoming a singer at a very younger age. Go ahead. Hi there, Mac. First of all, I just want to say a big, big thank you for having me on your show. It's a great honor when you asked me, and it's a really great opportunity. So um, a little bit about me. As you've said, my name is Susanna Ford Crush, 41 years old, from London originally, now live in Kent, just below London. Um, I started performing in general by the age of three or four, when, oh my um, god let me correct yeah. let me correct i'm so sorry i told my audience 13 or 14 years of age sorry guys it's my it's okay. <laughs> blunder i made it she that's way too young age which she say three or four please go ahead sorry for that it's fine no problem yeah i started off in um in a dance school my parents could see from quite a young age that I was a natural performer and a lot of people in the family and other people that met me, they kind of knew that there was something there. So I went into dance school and that's where I got used to performing on stage. And then from there, later on uh, at school, people noticed I had a really good singing voice. There was one teacher in particular called Mrs. Knight, who I've got a lot to thank for. She really spotted my voice. Um, I also went to a theatre school for 10 years and learnt uh, acting. And that's what I really wanted to do more than anything at the time, all through my teens as well. I really wanted to be an actress more than a singer. But it's only a little bit later on that I started to develop my voice further with uh, vocal training from the singer Barb Younger, um, that I really decided I wanted to go into singing a bit more. Um, but yeah, I've just been doing that on and off throughout my, um, from my, my adulthood until um, I've started doing things like busking, um, working with producers across Europe, so, yeah, I'm really building up my career with just making me focusing on music now more than ever. So, yeah, I think that's definitely I found my absolute 100 percent passion here with music. That's uh, it's definitely what I'm all about now. So I guess the talented people know when their passion becomes their enjoyment, you know, whatever you do in life, because if, if, if you're talented enough and you are mm -hmm. so passionate towards your talent, you make mm -hmm. it a reality and you make sure you work on it. So I'm sure singing has been your passion all these years as you mentioned already that from the age of three or four you have been singing and you're looking up to the passion of singing to take it forward mm -hmm. and that's where you are today and i'm sure all the audience would agree with me if you have a passion to excel with your talent that's the remarkable job you can do in your life so 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 mm -hmm. as you have gone and i'm I, I think I know a little bit more about you, that you travel around the world as well. So how has that experience as a singer impacted you in your life, that how you can go towards different countries? And do you express yourself, your singing talent in different countries as well? 
Um, I've, I've actually made some really good sort of networking connections uh, by traveling. Uh, the people I meet when I'm abroad, um, obviously you get to sort of asking what people do. Um, and I always talk about my music at some point. Um, a lot of the time uh, I get a really good warm response, but every now and then I do get a really good connection where someone says something like, Oh, you know, um, I'm a producer and, and, you know, listen to my music and see what you think. And maybe we can work together. So then when I get back home, I keep that connection, um, send emails to each other and share some music. And what usually happens is I get sent a piece of music that they want to put um, lyrics and vocals to which I'm actually really good at. I can do that sometimes within a few minutes. I can have lyrics to a piece of music and, and a vocal line all, all sorted. I then send that back to them and there you go. We've got a, got a new piece of music already. So yeah, through, through traveling, it's definitely um, helped me make better connections musically for sure. Would you, educate, uh, would you give some insight about what type of songs do you sing from the very younger age till now? And what, what, is, what are you focusing on now currently so that my audience and your audience can understand what type of songs and a singer Susanna is so that they can start finding you online and maybe they can start hearing your songs on their travel trips or during their cars whenever they're going towards road trips and stuff so maybe if they like your voice if they like your songs so they can definitely search you and we can definitely excuse me mention it on the description about your definitely i have mentioned your youtube and instagram links where they can connect with you but we would like to know what type of songs mm -hmm. do you sing are you a pop singer more or you're the rock singer more okay well i was raised on the music of the 60s and 70s that's my parents' generation. Um, my brother and I were always allowed access to my parents' uh, record collection, which is large and varied. Um, things like Rolling Stones, Beatles, Carly Simon, uh, Carole King, anything that, that that sort of thing. So because I've always had access to that, um, that's that's been a very, very huge influence on me, I would say. Um, and also my dad's a singer. Um, was in a band at a young age and still sings now. Um, so he's influenced me, his his voice, I suppose, genetically has been an influence, if anything. Um, and it tends to be, I, I think my voice is better suited for things like blues and jazz more than anything mm -hmm. else. But um, I am quite, um, I mean, I've got quite a large spectrum of, of types of music that I sing. It's generally pop. And it's generally sort of from the 60s to the present day. Um, it's, in, it's anything really. And I think that's really good because then I've got a wider audience. Um, people, people can resonate with me much more because I can sing pretty much anything of any genre. But yeah, like I said, it's definitely more bluesy, more jazzy with my voice, I think, because I'm actually got quite a low tone to my voice. I'm, I'm not, not so good on the high notes, you know, not soprano. So yeah, I think that sort of um, husky kind of bluesy jazziness is is good for me. So as you go along in your journey of singing career, did you get any opportunity and the chance to collaborate with music celebrities in your life? Um, well, celebrities. Or maybe you can say sorry. Mm. Or maybe you can say, give your lend your voice for any auditions for any music shows or the talent shows and stuff where you can perform and express yourself? Um, I haven't really wanted to get involved with these talent shows that are going on at the moment. Um, I've got a very good reason why, because I feel like um, I'm a very independent woman and I want to keep my music very independent. Going on these talent shows, uh, you, you, become, you become property. If you get a record deal, you become property. I really feel that you lose your art in in some senses with that because a lot of the time you're coerced, a lot of the time uh, you don't have the freedom of performing how you want to be seen. So I've, I've tended to avoid things like talent, talent shows because of that. Um, with regards to working with uh, celebrity singers, um, well, I've worked with lots of different people across Europe, as I've said, um, and I started singing at a recording studio when I was 19. So there are um, lots of uh, lots of people that came and went from the recording studio. Some of them were quite famous. Uh, Muff Winwood, people may have heard of from the uh, Spencer Davis group. Um, Hamish, who used to be Paul McCartney's um, guitarist. 
Uh, and I did did sort of do some backing uh, vocals for these types of people. And also, as I've mentioned, my vocal trainer, Barb Younger, is uh, a singer in her own right, very much so. And she uh, she sings a lot of 60s and 70s type music as well. So she trained me um, quite well on that. So, yeah, I've, got, I've had some sort of uh, brushings. How long, how long are your songs in the lengthwise? Um, how long it, are they? It really depends. I mean, I'm do, I do a lot of covers. So obviously uh -huh. most most pop tracks are sort of three or four minutes long. Um, my own work can be pretty similar, you know, maybe up to five minutes. But you've got to keep it short and snappy, I think, um, because we're not we're not doing sort of, you know, big concertos of you know <laughs> classical performances. It's uh, short and snappy, keeps people's attention, helps people resonate very quickly with you. So, yeah, I think it's it's, you know, keep keeping any things. favorite from your charts, from your song list, which you would like to look say a few lines for my guest tonight so that we could hear your voice how how deep or how loud or how loud it is do you have anything prepared for us today to hear um, you I've, I've got a whole song you have them. another two three minutes let's see if we can hear your voice today okay yeah if, if you just bear with me one moment i'm going to step away from the camera to put on my um my equipment and then i will sing sure. a whole song for you okay so bear with me i'll be gone for go one ahead. second go ahead yeah yeah we're waiting for you. So that was Susanna Ford Crush, guys. So we're going to be hearing her voice so we get to know what type of song she sings. And we're going to hear her voice to understand so whether we can hear her voice and the music and the songs during the long flights or the road trip. So go ahead, Susanna. Let's see here. Okay. Let's hear from just you. Let, just to let you guys know, this, this is... This looks um, more of an audition, but it's not an audition, but she's giving her... Talent. Yeah. She's expressing her talent for all my audience and your your audience, her audience. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Go ahead. This is uh, "Stuck in the Middle with You" by Steelers Wheel. A lot of people will probably know this already. So yeah, just to, just to know it's a cover. So let's get started. You have three minutes, or you can say one minute for the song and the two minutes for we're going to wrap up then. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I can't get to know I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared in case I fall off my chair. And I'm wondering how I'll get down the stairs. Clowns to the left of me, a joke is to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Yes, son, stuck in the middle with you. And I'm wondering what it is I should do. It's so hard to keep the smile from my face. Losing control, yeah, I'm all over the place. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. When you started out with nothing and you're proud that you're a self made man. And your friends say up and crawling, slap you on the back and say a please, please, yeah. Ooh, amazing. Trying to make some sense of it all But I can see it makes no sense at all Is it cool to go to sleep on the floor? Cause I don't think I can take any more Clowns to the left of me Joke is to the right Here I am stuck in the middle with you Cool stuff Susanna, you're amazing. Awesome. Keep it up. Keep it up. God bless you for your sweet voice. Okay, so people out there who have their birthdays today, so there's a message coming out from Susanna and me. Happy birthday to all the people out there who has their birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday. When you started out with nothing and you're proud that you're a self-made man. And your friends, they all come crawling, slap you on the back and say, a please, oh. please. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, that was my slap. I, I think she slapped me. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> I was just kidding, just hilarious. Okay, so 15 minutes up. Thank you, Susanna, for the wonderful song. So are you ending now? 
I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared to fall off my chair. And I'm wondering how I'll get down the stairs. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. Cool stuff, Susanna. Big, loud, big Woo! chair. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you so much for your song and the singing talent you have. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. That's amazing. That's globally connected, everyone. So that was Susanna Ford Crush for you all the way from London. Whoa, during the afternoon time, she sings so well. So I'm sure in the night and the evening time when she's going to be performing, it's going to be totally different with the background music or maybe on the stage. She will be an awesome personality, you know, human being. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you so much. So before we go, we always ask our guest for a little shout out for my channel so that everyone can be connected and promoted okay. on MacDocs. Please go ahead. We would look, okay. require a small shout out. Okay, this is Susanna Ford Crush telling you guys to please like, subscribe and share Mac Vlogs. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. That was Susanna Ford Crush all the way from London for you. So if you want to connect with her for your events, if anyone is there in my networking group who organizes and does events, concerts and stuff. So please get in touch with Susanna Ford Crush. I'm sure she will be an ideal personality and the human being to be part of your events for your global events, wherever she ever, wherever you are, start connecting on her Instagram and Facebook page. It is mentioned in the description section. Thank you, Susanna. God <laughs> bless you. you. Keep much, smiling man. and keep spreading music and music is love. Keep spreading love. Thank you so Absolutely. much once again. So we'll see you soon with another album and your love and affection, everything. Thank you so much once okay. again. Thank you. <laughs> so see you guys with another guest soon with on MacLogs. Take care. Bye bye. Good night.